I hate how the time changes, man. Like, even though the time changed in America, like in around this hemisphere, whatever you call it, the zones, like it's just dumb that the, the time changes and it fucks up your sleep. You know what I mean? Say the only good time, good thing about this time change is like you get to sleep longer, you know. But at the same time, you're at work longer if you think about it. You know what I mean? So you're getting an extra hour of work, you know. Hey, how? Like since the time changed, it it gets dark earlier. Right now, it's only. It's, all, it's just about 4 o'clock and it's already getting dark. It's already starting to get dark right now. I don't like that shit, man. I like it when it's sunny out more during the day. You know, because I... I'm not a morning person. I, I can't get up in the morning. I'm not... The only time I wake up in the morning like that is going to work. Which I hate. You know what I mean? But... I hate how the time changes. It's obvious, obviously something humans made up too, you know what I mean? Because because of farming. Farming made this happen. Like, since the crops are not as uh, the crops are like, like corn for instance, like this is a cornfield you're seeing like coming up, you know, and they don't grow as much in the winter, they, they, st they stop growing because it's getting too cold. They like the sun, you know what I mean, and all that stuff. So they t change the time where, like, they stop work earlier. You know what I mean? But during the spring and summer and all that shit, the time gets set back to work longer. You work longer during the day, so it's fucked up. It's not just they developed it so everyone's everyone can experience the time you know like right now this time zone you're not working as long but the next time zone you are you know what I mean it's just stupid keep it at one time man stop fucking up people's sleep and shit you know what I mean that's kind of a rant I have about that you know it's stupid you know it's crazy how that shit is with that um Let's see what else to say about the time change. They just fucked up how it is like that. You know, the sun, the sun it's gonna be a sunset right now, as you guys can tell in this video. It just sucks it gets dark earlier, man. That's what I hate about the winter, that gets dark earlier, the time changes, it's stupid. Keep it at one time, man. It's stupid. It's just something that humans made up with timing. You know? Um, fucking... What else I gotta say about the time changing? Yeah, you're, you're at work longer or shorter depending on the, the seasons and shit. But at the same time, you're still working long as hours no matter what time, if the time changes or, you know? So it's pointless at the end of the day. It's just stupid, man, you know? How the time changes like that, you know? At least they fixed this road. This this road used to be fucking filled with potholes all the time, dude. At least they fixed it a little bit, I guess. You know, I guess our taxpayers are going to somewhere, I, I suppose. But it ends here, it looks like. <laughs> you know, like the corrupt system with the with the uh, with those videos where he talks about the road and how your tax pay money is not going to it, which is true, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. What else? I just tell you how time just changed. You gotta change your clock. 
nowadays your iPhone does it by itself. I will say that's a good thing about that. You know, but back in the days you gotta fucking change your clock. It's a fucking annoying. You look at it and be like, oh, that's not the right time, you know? It's fucking annoying. What else did I gotta say about that? Uh, it's just a pain in the ass, man, you know? Time changing shit. Maybe I'll talk about something else. I can't really say much about this, you know. You have no control of it either, so. You can't ask to be born and fucking getting used to the time changing and stuff. Uh, while I drive, I guess I'll think about something else to talk about. Um, yeah, I'll talk about more of that school shooting in Michigan, man. That shit was fucked up, you know. I heard that a dude on the football team. Um, tried to break it up and try to talk him out of it. He got shot, man. He didn't deserve to die, you know what I mean? That shit's fucking messed up, you know? And two girls died. Uh, I don't know what the motive is for that, you know what I mean? Maybe he got bullied, you know? Like, it's just fucked up, man. It's fucked up for both the situation, the suspect, and, you know? This, bu this bullying shit would stop if people would fucking stop bringing people here, obviously. You know what I mean? But people love bringing people here, so... Can't really do nothing about it, you know? Just hopefully they, they question the world. These people in the world question the world and stop bringing motherfuckers here. You know? It's crazy that <laughs> it was my birthday when this shit happened. A school shooting happened on my birthday. So, that's fucking stupid, man. You know, how the, like, the, the parents should be here to blame, you know. The parents fucking let him have the gun in his fucking hand, you know. And they should be punished too, these fucking parents. You know. Like, if those parents didn't buy, didn't let him somehow get that gun, those kids in that school wouldn't be fucking killed. You know what I mean? But just stupid, man. Those pe those parents should be held accountable for those, those actions right there, too. You know, it's not just that kid that shot the, the kids in school. It should be fucking those parents. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're the fucked up ones. You know? Stupid, man. Um, what else, dude? Seriously. Yeah, that was fucked up with the Michigan school shooting, man. I don't want to see people suffering. And all those students that were experiencing that, they're going to have PTSD for the rest of their lives, dude. You know what I mean? That's why school's bullshit, man. They say it's a safe learning environment when it really isn't, dude. You suffer from bullying, like the school shootings. It could happen to your school fucking abuse from teachers, you know, and you're forced to do things that you don't want to do, and they indoctrinate you to be a 9-to-5 worker, and that's all it is, dude, and they don't want you to be yourself and think for yourself, you know, they want you to think a certain way about this fucking world, and that's all it is, you know what I mean, it's stupid as fuck, you know, you didn't ask to fucking go to school, and you're forced to do things learn things that you don't want to learn, that doesn't fucking help you survive in this world that it has to be here, to be here for, you know, it's stupid, man, you know what I mean, it's a stupid way of living, dude, like, if people didn't like school, why bring someone here, then, why let someone experience school, in, like, school, you know what I mean, that's what I don't understand, like, I talked to people from my high school that didn't like school, like, when I graduated, right? And they still, I mean, there's people that still support people bringing more people here, you know what I mean? It's so stupid, man. What the hell's wrong with motherfuckers, you know? If you experience bullying, why you fucking that kid come here then, you know? It's just so stupid.
traffic. Yeah. Yeah, I... It's fucked up that the people didn't deserve to die, you know. I hope... I hope people, like, that experience that, you know, can... Not... Not suffer, you know. Not suffer from that. All that pain and all that shit, you know. No one deserves that. No one deserves to get that PTSD from that. No one deserves from die from a school shooter, you know. And the school shooter doesn't deserve to be bullied. That's the number one thing. And they, they it's like society ignores like kids getting bullied, you know. It, it's, they, they ignore it because it's bullshit, you know. It shouldn't be ignored. It should be addressed in schools, and that's what should be taught more instead of fucking Shakespeare, you know. And it, it goes on and on when you graduate high school. Bullying is everywhere, dude. You know what I mean? It never stops. You know, because people want to compete, they want to judge you, you know, and it's all fucking bullshit, you know. It's so stupid, this fucking world, man. You know? But, what can I say, man? Just stop bringing people here and they won't experience it, you know? So, I feel sorry for the families and shit, like the siblings that had, the, the, the ones that lost their lives had siblings and they liked, liked them as a, you know, they liked them, you know what I mean? And, they'll never see them again, you know, maybe they were, these siblings were a good role model, you know, you never know, maybe they could be bad role models, you know what I mean, I don't know what else to say about that shooting, it's just another shooting, dude, never, it's never gonna end, it's gonna get worse, because bullying's not addressed, people keep bringing people here because they think there's more to life than fucking suffering world. I think there's more enjoyment when there really isn't, you know. It's a never-ending cycle, you know. So, I'll talk about something else while I drive the Burger King. Um, yeah. Just stupid, man. That school shit and stuff. Um, while I drive, I'll think of something else to talk about. Oh, too much chaos on the road, dude. I do agree with you guys on my rush hour, but it wasn't a bad rush hour, but I still hate traffic, man. No matter how severe and how mild it is, I just hate sitting in traffic. And even though I record, I, record, I record that video a little later, it was bad before, too. So I was sitting in that same area for at least, like, 15 minutes. I experienced a lot worse too, like on the highway and stuff. You're stuck in traffic, you know what I mean? So it just fucking sucks with that, you know? Say another thing too, what I hate. People say, oh, I wouldn't enjoy life without work, man. Oh, work gives me all the enjoyment. You know, I get that. Work enjoys you, but not not everybody likes enjoying the work, man. Don't fucking say, oh, to solve your depression and all this fucking pain that you're suffering from. Don't tell someone that work's going to help them, you know what I mean? Because it really doesn't really help people, in my opinion, dude. How can people enjoy go to work for long hours a day and fucking... It's like your hobbies that you developed as a kid are gone because you're fucking... You enjoy work so much, you know? I don't get how people enjoy work like that, you know? Working crazy hours. Unless you, you're doing your dream job and that's all you like to do. I respect that, you know? 
I respect people that are doing their dream jobs. You know what I mean? They they got what they wanted. But majority of people don't like their jobs, man. Majority of the majority don't, you know. Like I'd rather sit at the house and watch TV than than fuck going to work, but like, I have to work because I have to pay bills and fucking all that fucking stuff, you know, so that's what sucks about that. You're stuck working. You have to work or you don't. If you don't, you fucking will suffer in some way. And I didn't ask to fucking do this type of stuff, you know what I mean? I guess I would enjoy work like that, you know? The commute, like, you enjoy fucking rush hour. Like, you enjoy fucking, you enjoy talking to your toxic co-workers. You enjoy fucking talking to your boss that treats you like garbage, you know, and you want to raise and want to be able to afford things. They talk shit on you, you know, you work your ass off and you get nothing for it, you know. How can you enjoy that at work, dude? I don't understand, you know. And then there's the other type of person, too, where they hate work, but they'd rather be at school. I'd rather be a nut, dude. I had someone that, when I was working with my dad, he's working for him, and he said, I'd rather be in school learning and all, than go to work, you know what I mean? You shouldn't, you shouldn't, like, actually think about that more, you know? Like, dude, I'd rather not even be in school either, dude. I hated being bullied. I hated doing things I didn't want to do. Even though I learned things, it was I was learning things that were that wouldn't help me in the real world. That's how I'm working these fucking shit jobs, you know. And it didn't really help me, you know. I'd rather fucking not be in school either, you know. And school's the same concept like K through 12. You're there for eight hours a day. You're talking to people you don't want to talk to. And you go home, and you got more work to do. You got homework. That stupid, dumbass shit. That is overloading your brain, man. It's stupid, you know? How can people enjoy going to school, too, man? Like, the only time I enjoyed going to school was when I was in college. And, I had so like, socializing was cool, but... I was still learning, it was the same concept. I was learning things that weren't going through my major. Like gen eds all the fucking time. You have to take gen eds. Like you have to have 60 credits of gen eds. And fucking, you hardly take your fucking major, man. Stupid. Like I don't fucking disagree about learning, right? But school's the wrong way of doing it. School should be four hours of learning. Over, it's overload, man. You're over, you're, you're, ca you're causing a burnout, you know? It's fucking bullshit, man. You know what I mean? Stupid shit. Um, yeah, how do people enjoy work and shit like that? Another thing is with work, right? food prices are so high people want to be healthy and shit but people don't have time to cook and all that garbage so like they start eating unhealthy you know which is bullshit man pay them a better wage so they're able to fucking afford this type of food or, or drop the prices that you know that fucking um Hold on a second. Or drop the prices where people are able to buy healthier foods and people will live healthier lives. You know, that's why in America it's uh, people are the most unhealthy is because you're overworking and you don't have time to fucking cook a good meal. So you start getting takeout, you get fast food. All this shit, you know? I'm not saying fast food is all bad, because I like to eat fast food and shit, but that's what sucks about work. You, you have to have the time, and you gotta get paid a good amount just to eat healthy, you know? And if you want to eat healthy in an affordable way, you gotta be strategic with it, man. You know what I mean? That's what sucks about living in, like, impoverished areas and shit. Like, 
there's so much fast food down there and fucking all that shit. It's hard to be healthy, you know? You know what I mean? It's possible to live a healthy lifestyle while being impoverished, but you gotta, like, watch how you spend your money, you know? You gotta work out and all those fucking things. But go back to, like, enjoying work, man. How can you enjoy going to, doing overtime, dude? Oh, I'd rather be working over 40 hours than fucking, uh, fucking staying in the house. Like, you know, you know what? Like, you can still enjoy life without working. You know, do the things you want to do. Like, I just went to the park. I was doing something. You know what I mean? I was fucking, I would play basketball or fucking lift weights or sightsee. You know what I mean? Like, there's more to life than just fucking working. What's wrong with people in their heads? You know? It's so stupid, you know? What's wrong with people inside their heads with that? Their thick skulls, you know? Like, they think work is, like, all they care about, you know? You have very little time to enjoy it. And once you fucking take all these pain kills and mental health, like, pills and shit like that, and you're in the hospital bed, you're about to die, you're gonna regret working all the time. You know what I mean? You're going to regret working so many hours and you want to enjoy life, do what you wanted to do, and you're stuck at that cubicle and you overworked yourself, you know, and yet you, you just forgot what your hobbies were and what your interests were when you developed as a kid, you know, and it just, that shit, that type of shit fucking pisses me off, you know, it's stupid, man, you know. Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? How can people do those fucking type of things? Enjoy work all the time. You know? If it's your dream job, that's cool. You know? I, I respect that. And that's cool. Go to work and enjoy yourself working. But the majority of people don't have dream jobs, man. They don't. They're doing things because they need the money. They need to pay the bills. They need to pay rent. They need to fucking pay... Whatever it is, their loans or whatever it is. So they work these crazy jobs that pay, they may pay good or not. And even if you get paid good at like a, say like a physically labor job, you may get her on the job and fucking all that money that you're making, like the six figures are gonna fucking go down the drain to like, like pain kills, like Percocets. You know, or pain relievers or hospital bills. You know, you get what I mean? It's so stupid, man. You know, it's ridiculous. Like, I don't know what else to like to say. You know, how can people enjoy work like this? You know, and how can you enjoy school when school indoctrinates you and you know, I support learning, not school, you know, learning things is always a good thing, but school and being in a camp and fucking, you can't learn what you want to learn, you gotta be forced to learn things that, that are bogus, you know what I mean, is a problem, you know, so, pretty long video, cause I was pretty far away to the Burger King, but, that's the end of this video. I'll, talk, I'll do the food review, and that's it for today. So.